Hey you guys, so today we're working with Yolissa hair. And when you open the packaging, you have this cute little wig bag. And they sent me a lot of goodies. You know, I always enjoy my goodies. They sent me over a body wave in 24 inch, 13 by 4 HD lace. It is 180 density. The lace construction is as usual, the clips and in the front and you also have a clip in the back with the adjustable straps all right so here is my model i already plucked and bleached the knots off of camera and did her ball cap so now we're just putting the wig on and we're going to get it into place and cut out those ear tabs I only had a dark colored stocking cap, so here I'm just going in adding lighter makeup to make the cap lighter. Next, I am cutting out the lace and I'm just going in a zigzag motion. I only use one glue, it's from the Ray Simone collection. It does a job every time, it never fails me. So this will be the only glue that I'm ever gonna use my entire life, okay? Get you a bottle so when you buy this wig, you have everything that you need. So once you have your lace laid, you're going to go back and cut off any excess lace and you'll go back and apply any glue under any spots that were missed.
And I know the lace is looking, you know, casky and white. But if you watched my previous video before this one, you know that I switched up my method. And I do not tint my lace in the beginning anymore because sometimes it ends up looking darker. It'll match, like, perfectly fine before anything. But once you apply the glue and the hairspray and tie it down, sometimes it ends up dark. And I'd rather have a light lace than rather a dark lace because you can always fix the lace if it's too light. Sometimes after I do the whole process, I find out that I don't need any tint at all. So I like to tint last. Now we're going to work on the baby hairs and part out our heart swoop. We're getting to the exciting part now. Okay, so as you can see, that part... The heart was looking a little wonky at first. So you just got to just keep parting until you get it right. Okay, so now that heart is hardened, okay? <laughs> Now we're finna get rid of that casket ready lace, honey, cause it's just giving Casper the friendly ghost, okay?
Once you get everything nice and hot comb, you're going to work on the baby hair. I cleaned up the hairline with some alcohol, and now I'm just thinning out the baby hairs. Once you get them cut, then you can swoop them into place. So my baby hair method, I like to, after I curl it, I like to brush it into place before I actually mold them into place. And it works for me. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do the waves or straights. I feel like everybody does a swoop and straight, so I went with the waves. And since this is body wave hair, the waves will just fall into beautiful waves. You really want to pin these as soon as you do the curl. I decided to pin them after the fact, but it'll still do a little bit of something.
So I'm just going in with got to be hairspray and a hot comb to get this super flat and get this swoop really neat and swooped into place. I'm using a trick that I seen Eric and Tay do. I'm going to put the swoop in a ponytail with a piece of hair from the back. And after you do the ponytail, it will be sticking up. So you'll just have to flip it under. Well, flip it through and under. And you'll see in just a minute. And then it'll lay perfectly flat and undetectable. You can just leave it with the ponytail. I just put the bobby pins just for extra security.
Okay, so this is the final look. I was so happy with the way that it came out. It was so cute and fun to do. She loved it as well. Thank you, Yolissa Hair, for sending me this wig. It was bomb. Make sure y'all check the description box down below so you can purchase yours. And, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Talk with me. Let me hear your feedback. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.